YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to part 6 of the RDI campaign on Legendary Difficulty. In the previous episode we took Velathri from the Romans, we now have a foothold in Italy itself with Ariminum and Velathri and we are looking to take out Rome. Rome only has two settlements left, it has Rome itself and Neapolis. I'd like to take Neapolis because the more ports we have the better the campaign will go for us and of course I think it is one of our victory conditions as well. Let's have a look. Oop, do, do, oop, over here we want to go. Uh, yes, control 50 port settlements. Hold 50 settlements in total for an economic victory. Or completely control the following six provinces for the cultural. But we have Illyria, which is good. So, what are we going to do in this episode? I think we're probably going to march south towards Rome itself. We need to click the end turn button in the next few moments. Need to try and rebuild some of these pro uh, buildings in Velathri. Get our money going again. And then I might attempt to go for Rome itself. So without further ado, I'm going to click the end turn button. Oh, military traditions. Uh, the Wrath of Armatus. Which is over here. And we're going to give them... Uh, we'll go for the charge bonus and the movement points. And we can click end turn. So, here we go. End turn time. What is Rome going to do? Nothing. <laughs> oh my god, look at Epirus. They've got Brundisium and Cassentia now. Epirus has gone on the rampage and taken out all of southern Italy. And the good thing is they are friends of, our, of ours as well. We are trading with them. It's probably good to get one or two allies early on in this campaign. definitely a good strategy to get loads of allies and hopefully we can oh what's going on here Veneti have ventured south and they've gone back north they took out some rebels there that's okay rebellion and Araminum oh my that's not good blackmail we're going to do nothing because of course we have the mod which is on no civil war mod so none of that really matters anymore anyway which is which I'm happy about and look at the Etruscan League holy moly look at this full navy attack in Rome itself and they have another army here the winds of Annie not looking good for them is it we have our rebellion over here the Latin rebels there's four of them I can probably raise an army and take them out in this episode so I will do that briefly let's see raise an army Antis Urgentius uh, they both have the families they're both oh actually Antis has four for zeal, the other one only has three. So we're going to go for Antis, raise an army, and we're going to give you cavalry. Because we like our cavalry, what are we against? We're against two units of cav, one skirmisher, and one swordsman. So what we're going to do is get some mercenaries. I'm going to get another unit of... We can go for Illyrian. We'll go for Italian cav. And we will go for... Let me see, Etruscan hoplites. I think we'll go for Etruscan hoplites. That should be enough. Three units against four. We're going to attack. Oh, we're not going to attack yet, but we're going to attack them very shortly indeed. Now, over in here. Oh, hang on, look at this. In Sabures. Oh my, look at this. 20. Full stack of 20 on the border there. We have a full stack of the Veneti on the border there. And the, <laughs> the Brucci on the border there. And we have the, <laughs> the Tribali on the border there. So everybody's basically thinking about attacking me. This could be a very messy campaign indeed. What I will do though is take these guys into the settlement here. Our public order's gone up again now. We can replenish these two units. And with the ballista and with the garrison there, we, sh we may be okay to rebel one of these armies at least. I don't know about both of them. And of course, we have a wall settlement here, so we should be. Or at least hopefully we would be okay there. Uh, Epidamnos has an army as well. A fairly decent army which I probably will use to expand to Nevisos and then Segundum at a later stage in this campaign. And let's have a look. So rebels we will deal with shortly. Public order has gone up now. Um, can we actually convert some of these? I don't think we can afford it. No, 927 and 1190. That's a shame. I would have liked to have done some more there. I, these mercenaries, I don't need these. Disband them. Disband these. 
disband all the mercenaries. We're going to recruit. Oh, we're going to get spearmen at the moment. That's fine. We we'll get two units of spearmen for them. Probably need some spearmen here as well. Actually, no. I'm going to build them here instead. Oh, we can get more here, of course, because we have more buildings. So we want to want to go for. I think we want to go for the raiders. Yeah, definitely the raiders. One unit of raiders there should be okay. And we're going to click end turn again, and I'm hoping that Rome might attack me this turn. Or even the Etruscans take Rome itself. That would be quite funny if that happened. Okay, Rome's not attacking me. That's a shame. Would have liked that to have happened. Can't get over Epirus. I mean, usually Epirus gets wiped out fairly early on, but... For them to expand the way they have, it's insane. It might be because of me actually doing damage against Rome. I think Athens has taken... Athens went to war with Mastodon and took took out Mastodon, I think, so... That's probably helped Epirus in this campaign. Military sabotage, posthuma, scapula... Okay, that's fine. Right. How are we going to do this? Oh, but the Etruscans did take Rome. <laughs> and Rome is down to one settlement, Neapolis. If only I could get down there quick enough to take Neapolis. Oh my, that would be... That would be fun. I'd like to take Apollonia and Brundisium. All these port settlements would have been nice to have taken. Get the lands down in Syracuse as well. I might take out Syracuse, actually. That might be my next war target. <laughs> Insane. Okay, what we're going to do here is we are still replenishing with this unit here. I need to get rid of this rebellion. They have eight units now, so it's not looking good for me. Ready for battle. Ready for the battle. I can't recruit quick enough. Um, do I want more cav? I might just blitz them with cavalry, actually. It sounds like a good idea. Let's Thirsty get some more cav. Yeah, let's just go. Let's go cav crazy. Yeah, let's just go cav crazy on them and attack them. Boom. We have our reinforcements, of course. So I'll see you all on the battlefield. Hello everyone and welcome to the battlefield. I shall start the battle. I don't think I could ask for a better battlefield than this. We have height advantage here. I'm actually going to bring these guys forward. We have all my cav here. Ooh, look at that bird. Oh my. Lovely bird. And behind me, I think somewhere... Where are they? Where are these guys coming in from? Might be down here. Up to the flanks. My reinforcements are coming in via the flanks. Where's the enemy? I can't see them because of line of sight. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, what we will do with these is group them up. And we're just going to take them to here between this pass between the two uh, groups of trees. I want to use my cavalry in this battle and then disband all of them, apart from my general, of course. Antis. Let's have a quick look at Antis, actually. Can I make a beastly general out of Antis? That's the plan. There he is. Antis. I think that's him. Let's, let's just double check this. Yeah, that's Antis, alright. Nope, he's in the one next door, actually. That's Antis, but there. Hello, Antis. Antis of Illyria. Lovely, lovely stuff. So, where are the enemy? I'm guessing they're going to be in here. I'm always hoping that we could discover them via this army here. They're usually in the centre somewhere. Maybe I'll take these down a little bit. Height advantage on the hill would be beneficial to us. Checking the formations on these. I may put these into diamond. And put these into wedge. And I think, yeah, they are. They're down there. They are actually marching towards me slowly with their levy skirmishers. They have loads of swordsmen and spearmen, and they have cavalry on either flank. So, this is going to be interesting, to say the least. Bring the hoplites forward. Followed by cav. And then the rest of my army can flank right around here. Might even draw them down here and go for the charge. That seems like a good strategy. 
you're going to crash into them with all the cav. I'm going to fast forward this a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's go back to normal speed. Because everything's in position now. Bring the hoplites forward. With the cavalry in support. My men haven't got quite got there yet. They don't know what to do, so I'm going to bring the cavalry right forward now. Hoplites! Oh, let's go for the skirmishers now. Let's go for it, guys. Let's crash into them. Let's charge everything into them. <laughs> Spearmen right behind them, I just don't care. Disengage. Last second, disengage. Oh, oh shit, that didn't come out well. Bring my general out there quickly. Antis, get out, Antis. Holy crap. Not the best of charges ever. Let's get out there quickly. I engaged them, that's what I wanted. Slow them down so my hoplites can have charged the cavalry. We pinned them down. Now the hoplites should be able to get some decent kills. Oh, here we go. Look at this. That horse is a goner. Caught on the rock. Surely that horse will be taken out. The rest of my men can now come in there. I'm going to take these guys out of formation as well. Don't think that really helped us in this in this instance, unfortunately. Illyrian cavalry. So we go, we're going to line the cavalry up for another charge on the hill. Of the Tays are going to be doing very well against these units, and the rest of my men can just flank around, have some fun. Bring them all around, bring them up into their face. This unit of cav is, is going to be screwed. Let's get some rapid advance on some of these. Let's get my missiles to attack the general over there. General's fairly exposed, isn't he? I think we can probably take all the cav to here and then to there. We're going to go flanking around and take out the general and the skirmishers on the way. These two units of spearmen are going to reinforce my hoplites. My hoplites haven't taken many damages. 133 out of 60. 160, sorry. So they're doing fairly well. I should have put them into phalanx, though. That's probably the only thing which I did wrong. All of these can now come forward. My tribesmen are going to take on the cav. Probably not good for me. Well, we will get some kills, which is good. Right. I think we can go for a charge now on the skirmishers. They seem fairly um, vulnerable by here. They should be quite easy to take out. You have our spears. Bring them down. Take them out. And here we go. The cavalry master at its very best. This. This guy is going to be my cavalry general, I think, Antis. That's what he's going to be doing in this campaign. Oh my god, these guys are screwed. I think these two units can probably come around like so. That's good. Excellent. Go for them up there. Yeah, the general's doing pretty well, actually. It's been a bit of a thorn in my side there, General. I won't take out as many of these as I can, so I'm going to let them Italian units cavalry. charge. Fire. Well, all of these can now hit them in the Hop rear. Thump them in the rear where they are. they're engaging my hoplites. My hoplites. Rear charge. Here's a pill, which isn't good, but it doesn't matter. Getting some kills, that's all that matters, really. Don't mind throwing a lot of these men away, because they are garrisoned. Battle ready, Aniga. These men can rest for a moment. I think. It's quite funny that the Italian cavalry and their generals escaped this. Warriors, let's go. Italian cavalry. Now we are starting to lose. Not good. The spearmen are a hell of a fight, actually. Wasn't really expecting that. Probably took too many cav. <laughs> Probably brought too many 
cavalry to this uh, to this battle, unfortunately. Oh well. I was hoping to take out their general quickly as well. Get Warcry going in a sec. Three, two, one. There we go. Warcry, the weakest unit. Everyone getting on them. All my calves engaging them now. And they are starting to rout as well. Chain routing time, I think. The general's had enough. He's running away. He's a coward. And we are starting to chain route all of them. Did my general rank up? Nope, he hasn't quite ranked up. Kill 77. Ah, there we go, lovely. We're now killing the Italian spearmen. I can't believe this guy is running away. Let's try and form up. I leave my cavalry, chase them down for a sec. I want to get as many kills as I can, especially for my general. Make sure some of them don't come back as well onto the campaign map. There we go, lovely. These guys can actually turn around and hit the swordsman. Over there. <laughs> die, 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 die. Charge. <laughs> War cry them, why not? Only four left. There we go, I think I'll do. We're gonna quit the battle. Close victory. That'll do. I'm hoping that will be the re end of this rebellion, but I got this feeling it won't be. I'll immediately disband all my cav. One of my cav units had a hundred. Nope, sorry, my infantry had 149. One of my cav had 113 kills. It's not too bad. I'm going to release the captives. If there are nothing else. Increase in rank. Yes, rebellion over. It did kill him. I had this horrible feeling he would come back. And now, I can take my general back there. I'm going to disband all this cav so my money can go back up. I'll keep the mercenary Etruscan hoplites just for now. They could be useful. I'm going to get melee attack for all units, which would be good. And I'm going to go for plus one authority as well for my general. Yep, I'm happy with that. That's going to be good. Velathri is not looking too bad. we got some money next turn to spend on Velathri. And then I think the Romans might be taken over by the Etruscans if we're looking at the campaign map right now. And I think the Etruscans will have Neapolis, Rome, and Al Lalia, so they will be the next target probably. Take out, take out their provinces. That should be good. They have some port settlements with the Lalia and Neapolis as well. And then I will start looking into taking some of these settlements in Gaul and Germania. But anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. I've been Dragonheart. Hope you all enjoyed. Until next time, goodbye.